Hi, today we're starting a new series of videos about the IoT platform that we are going to use to upload our environmental data and this is Thingsport. We selected Thingsport because it is an open source uh, platform and that means that everyone can download the code uh, for the platform and install it in its own server. Uh, for the Paradigm project, the installation that we have uh, prepared for you is at this IP 194.24.226.112. So you have to go to this page and provide at the login screen the tenant account credentials that we have provided to you and you log in. A tenant is an account, a, a type of account that can do various uh, tasks, can perform various tasks inside uh, Thingsport. One of the most important uh, tasks is to create a new device. A device is a board, a circuit that or any other source that may provide uh, data that we want to uh, save on our platform. So first thing that we have to do is go to device management here, especially the devices icon, click on it. You see here that there is already one uh, device that has been earlier uh, installed by me. Right now we're going to create a new one. So we have to press the add sign here, add new device, give it a name, let's say it's a test device, and press add. Now you have a new device on the list called test device, and if you click on its name, this is a tab that contains uh, various properties of the device. One important tab here is latest telemetry. If we have uploaded any data here, the latest data uploaded will be shown at this tab. And another thing we need from this view is the access token. In order to send data to a device, we need a specific, unique for this device access token. So I will copy this and go and paste it in a notepad to use it later. We're ready with the new device, but now we have to send data to it. Later on, we will going to send data from our ESP32. But now, just for testing purposes, we're going to send some demo data from the command line, the Windows command line, by using an uh, application called CURL. If we don't have CURL in our uh, system, we have to download it. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm, adding, I'm opening a new tab. CURL download. Go to download. There are various packages here, as you see, for various operating systems. I'm going to select a Windows 64 version. Here it is. Click on it. Click on this. And I'm going to show my download. It's in the downloads folder for me. I will extract because it is a zip file. Extract all. Yes. Mm. 
very well. This is a, uh, the folder where we extracted our software, the CURL software. I will rename it because it's a very long name for our folder. And I will uh, move this folder to my root C drive so that when I open the command prompt it will be easy to navigate uh, of course you can uh, extract uh, this folder anywhere in your uh, disk and you can also uh, put it on the path, the location of, C of CURL, to the path of your command, uh, uh, your command prompt, so that you can give the CURL command from anywhere. Now I'm going to open the CMD command prompt application and go to the folder where I have the CURL executable and now I need to give a specific command that will use CURL to upload measurements to the test device that we have created. This is a long command and since I don't remember it I have to search for it. I will go to search for CURL and things board this is a page from the things board manual I will go down until this which is the command that we will use from a command prompt to send our data. You see that the data are here with the red uh, font. It says that there is a variable called temperature and a value of 25. This is what this uh, command will send if we use it. The variables in uh, ThingsBoard are called keys, remember that. In blue here there is the ThingsBoard host name that we will have to substitute with the IP address that I showed you earlier and the access token which is the access token that we copied from the device and if you remember I have it in here in my notepad so I copy the whole command to test open my command prompt paste it and now I have to go and change the host name at first I will give my IP our things board installation and I need also to change the access token I have to go to my notepad copy it and go here remove access token along with the dollar sign and paste the real access token of my device so now if I just press enter remember I haven't pressed it yet that in ThingsBoard in latest telemetry there's nothing yet here so I'm going to the command prompt press enter you see some communication here with the ThingsBoard server and if I go to the latest telemetry tab for my test device you see that I have a key called temperature with a value of 25 that was updated today at 12 19 17 seconds if I go and change the value here to show you 
that a new device, a new measurement has been uploaded. Here you can see new time, same key, a new value. So in this video, we have shown you how to create a new device in Thingsboard and upload some data by using CURL and the command line.